Hey guys, it's Kaylin. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my first book conference experience, do a little recap on Book Bonanza. I really meant to vlog at the weekend and share that with you all, but I ended up just not picking up my camera ever. It was very busy and chaotic the whole weekend, and I was really just trying to live in the moment as much as possible. So, sorry there's not a full vlog, but I did want to sit down and talk about it and share some of my favorite memories, some of the highlights of the weekend. I also want to share some book signing book conference tips because a book bonanza was my first book conference experience and it's one of the biggest ones so it was like I said a little bit busy a little bit chaotic so I had no idea what to expect but now that I've done it I definitely have some tips and advice if you are going to your first book signing or book conference I hope those tips and advice help so we'll get to that after my little recap if you're new to my channel hi my name is Kayla I'm a social media manager content creator author personal assistant I share my life here on YouTube but if you want to see more book content for me definitely check out my book talk or my bookstagram. Obviously the main point of going to a book conference or a book signing is to meet authors and that was definitely one of my highlights. I met so many different authors. I think I ended up meeting 36 different authors throughout the weekend. It was truly so so incredible. So many authors that I've read for years, authors that I absolutely love and I just cannot tell you how much love and joy they all spread. I think especially since a lot of these authors haven't done a book signing since before the pandemic, they were just even more excited to be with all the readers and just be surrounded by the book community. Community. It was truly so magical to be in that giant signing room with like 23, 100 plus people who all enjoy and love the same things that you do. So meeting authors was definitely a highlight for me. I don't want to go through the full list of 36 that I met, but every single one I met was so incredibly kind and sweet and lovely. I got to spend a lot of time with Harlow Ray and KK Allen. Both of them are just absolute angels. I love them to death. Adriana Locke and Melanie Harlow were two big highlights for me because I have read their books since 2019 and to meet them both in person was so cool. Both of them recognized me from TikTok and were just so incredibly kind. That's like my biggest thing. Everyone was so kind and so sweet and like genuine. I feel like I could say that for every single author I met. Everyone was just so, so, so kind. Other authors I met in love, Devney Perry, Natasha Madison, Laura Pavlov, Carla Sorensen, Candy Siner, Amy Dawes. I walked up to her and she immediately goes, hey, this girl got One Moment Please, which is one of her older books on her backlist, up on the Amazon chart. So that just kind of like killed me. I love my book talk and it's so much fun to create videos on there and as cool as like likes and followers are on that account it means so much more to me when it makes a difference for authors and when those authors like see and recognize that Amy Dawes is so good about that she just kills it on TikTok and she's so good about recognizing the power of book talkers and how much they do for her books and she was just so incredibly kind and even though she was having a rough day personally on day two she was still there and meeting people and signing books and I love her so much there were plenty of other amazing author moments those are just some of my highlights some of my top authors that I was so excited to meet and who were just amazing in person. Another big highlight of Book Bonanza was meeting bookish friends that I already follow on BookTok or Bookstagram and making new friends too. The weekend just started off with having two book people on my plane. We all sat together. We were all reading on the plane. It was so much fun. Shout out to Mel and Jessica. They are both so sweet and it was so fun to sit on the plane with them and then see them throughout Book Bonanza in the signing room and everything. Also got to finally meet my friend Ariana. We have been friends on YouTube for like six years maybe so long and she's into books especially spicy romance now too and a few months ago when I bought a ticket to Book Bonanza I was like hey you live in Dallas right please buy a ticket to this and she did and we got to hang out the whole weekend it was so much fun also got to meet Logan hang out with Logan and her mom all weekend she was so amazing Anna Kelly so many more it was just such a good weekend filled with the book community bookish friends I loved it also shout out to my random roommates that I found on Facebook they were all so amazing too and I'm so glad I had them to room with and kind of talk about everything with Book Bonanza as we were experiencing it all together. Definitely a ton of other amazing moments but just like meeting authors, meeting bookish friends were definitely the two main highlights for me. Also coming home with 120 books was insane but now my bookcase is very full with some of my favorite authors who I got to meet in person. A lot of these books are signed now which just makes my heart so happy. I could probably talk about my weekend at Book Bonanza for hours and hours and hours. It was truly the most incredible week Weekend. And I'm already counting down the days to Love in Vegas in October. I'm rooming with Christy, read between the wines. I'm so excited. And I'm totally just hooked on book signings. I want to go to as many as possible in the next few years. So I need to find tickets to more. So if you're going to any book conferences, let me know. Let's hang out. That being said, let me share some of my book signing tips. Like I said, Book Bonanza was my first book conference book signing experience. And it was definitely overwhelming at times, but like in the best way possible. But I feel like if I knew all of these things going into it, I would have been a 
lot less stress and a lot more prepared. So I hope these help you if you're going to your first book conference or first book signing. Tip number one is to not stress about the wristbands. Everyone in the Book Bonanza Facebook group made the wristbands seem like the Hunger Games and like you had to like run and push people out of the way to get them so you can meet all your favorite authors. But I was easily able to get all of the wristbands that I wanted to in the first like 10, 15 minutes. I definitely kind of like sped walk through it, but I was easily able to get all the authors that I wanted on my list. And throughout the weekend, you really didn't need wristbands for a lot of authors if their lines weren't too insane. They would let anybody in their line. And a lot of authors handed out more wristbands at the start of day two if they got through a lot of their people on day one. So if you're going to a book conference or a book signing, don't stress about the wristbands. You'll be able to meet all the authors or most of the authors you want to meet. Like I said, I met 36 different authors. There were only two that I didn't actually get to meet that I wanted to, but I was still able to go and pick up the books that I pre-ordered from them. So honestly, don't stress about them. Wristbands just make it so that you don't have to wait hours and hours in line for a single person. You can get a wristband, come back later when it's your turn. So don't stress about the wristbands. You will be able to meet most or all of the authors you want to meet on your list. And honestly, Book Bonanza is like the biggest, craziest conference. So it should be totally fine if you're going to a smaller book conference, especially if they do wristbands. Next tip is to get a book cart. I'll put a little picture of mine that I had for the weekend. This thing absolutely saved me. I highly recommend buying one of these. It was totally worth the money. Throughout the weekend, all of the books that I brought with me or got at the signing, I put in my book cart. Honestly, there was stuff stacked on top of my book cart also throughout the weekend. I seriously would not have survived with this thing. It made it so easy to cart all my books around the book signing and keep everything organized in there. If you're planning to get a lot of books, I'd also recommend bringing a solid tote bag to put on top. I pretty much threw everything in a tote on top that wasn't books. So the poster I had, Sharpies, snacks, my water bottle, the signing room map. I don't know, just ton of random things that would have gone in my book cart. I just threw them all in this tote bag and kind of stored it on top. It made it a little bit difficult because I had to take it on and off every time I wanted to get books out of it, but it definitely kept me a lot more organized than throwing everything inside my book cart. And I was able to sort through my books easier because there were just books in my book cart. Highly, highly recommend a book cart. I also recommend putting stickers or some kind of decal on it that has your name on it so you know it's yours. My friend Ariana very kindly made me a Cricut on her decal that had my Instagram username on it. So I just put it on the front. That way I could easily know which one was mine between everyone else's because so many people had the same or a very similar one. Also, if you put your username or stickers of books that you love on it, you have easy conversation starters with people in line when you're waiting around. They might see a book or a series or a sticker on there that they recognize and you have something to talk about for the people you hang out with in line. Tip number three is water, 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 and snacks also. I was so incredibly dehydrated the entire weekend. I never ever drank enough water. So highly recommend bringing a big refillable water bottle and taking that with you everywhere and making sure you actually refill and drink it throughout the day, especially during the signing. For Book Bonanza, both days of signing were a five hour long session, which was very long and I really didn't take a break either day, which I definitely regret because by the end of both days, I was just absolutely exhausted, super dehydrated. So highly recommend drinking water. Also, if you're someone who gets hungry, throw some snacks in your book cart or your bag so you have something to eat throughout the book signing. I'll say my one kind of book bonanza complaint was I really didn't like the lunches that they provided. So I was definitely really hungry by the time we got to the book signing. So if you're a picky person like me or just someone who gets hungry all the time, also I really recommend snacks. My next tip might just be a me thing, but I highly recommend having something to bring up with each author that you plan to meet at your book signing. There were a ton of authors that this wasn't even remotely a problem with, authors that I read all the time, I've read for a long time, or chat with on Instagram, all of them. I like had something to talk about really easily off the top of my head. But for authors that are kind of newer to me or I've only read one or two of their books, it was definitely harder for me to come up with something to talk about. Usually most readers are introverts and most authors are introverts too. So it makes for some awkward conversations if you don't have something planned in your head to say. There was not a single author that was rude, but you could tell that some of them are just like more introverted or shy people and not super talkative. So it definitely would have been nice to have some more conversation starters for those authors. Again, none of them were rude. No hate to any of these authors that I met, but I could just tell, especially because I'm just as shy and introverted that it was sometimes hard to come up with a conversation. Also kind of with that, if you have a lot of books for an author, sometimes it's just easier to let them sit there and sign all your books without trying to talk to them. Especially if you have a large stack of books, they can just get through your stack of books quicker, especially if they have a longer line. And then you can take a minute or two to talk to them after they finish signing your books. My next tip is to save lots of money for books before you go. I brought a stack of books with me. I also pre-ordered a ton of books. So I kind of paid for those in the months leading up to Book Bonanza, but I definitely underestimated the amount of money that I would spend at Book Bonanza on books. There was definitely just a ton of good deals, a ton of special edition covers that I wanted to get my hands on. So I don't regret how much money I spent on books there, but definitely plan for that and save up for it. Also, if you're like me and I have no self 
control when it comes to books. Maybe you bring like a set amount of cash with you that you can spend on books. Bring $200 in cash, definitely bring change because a lot of authors have to like break change all weekend. So if you can bring smaller bills, do that. If you really can only spend a certain amount on books, set yourself a budget and try and stick as much as possible to cash. That helped me a lot with spending books at Book Bonanza. I really only spent like the cash that I had on me on books. I did spend a little bit on my card, but most of them I just spent with cash, which definitely helped control my spending a little bit on books there. My final book signing tip kind of goes along with the last one, and that is to bring at least one completely empty suitcase with you. I brought two suitcases with me, a big one and a smaller one, and I still completely ran out of books, and I had to have my friend Ariana bring me a suitcase on day two. She very kindly stopped at Walmart on the morning of day two and brought it to me, and I paid her for it. But I don't know what I would have done if I didn't buy another suitcase. Most book signings have a shipping room or a shipping option, but to me, I didn't want to spend 50 plus dollars on shipping books home. When I was flying Southwest and I had two free check bags, so I spent $100 on a suitcase that I can use again and again and again that I was able to fly for free with. It just made more logical sense to me. Also, highly recommend flying Southwest if you are flying to a book signing and it's an option for you because like I said, two free checked bags. So on my way home, I checked the two larger suitcases. One of them was 50 pounds on the dot. The other was 48.5. Those both got checked and then my carry-on was easily over 50 pounds. It had 50 plus books in just that. And thankfully, I was able to gate check it if your Southwest flight is also very full. They try and gate check bags. So you can always ask if that's an option. Normally ask the person that's like standing at the door because the other people at the counter will try and charge you money. But yeah, thankfully I was able to check both of those bags and then I gate checked my carry-on because there was no way I was able to get the suitcase above in the overhead bin once I got on the airplane. So the very kind gate agent was my homie and she checked my bag for me. So that was very, very nice. So I highly recommend bringing at least one entirely empty suitcase, especially if you pre-order a lot of books going to the book conference or if you're planning on buying a lot there, just save yourself the hassle later on and bring a completely empty suitcase. Okay, I think those are all my major book signing book conference tips. If you have any other questions, leave them down below or message me on Instagram and I'm happy to share any tips or advice I have with you. Book Bonanza was truly just the experience of a lifetime. I can't believe it's over. I'm so sad. I'm definitely hooked on book signings now and I'm planning to go a lot more in the next year or so. So if you're going to any, let me know in the comments down below. We can meet, hang out. And like I said, I'm already counting down the days to love in Vegas in October. It's going to be so much fun. So many bookstagram and book talk people are going. I cannot wait. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.